Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden nut. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. With thorough have mercy. Can you... I swear I spotted Doc... Keep moving. This business doesn't concern you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fey, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace. At least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. You might call it a Fey Nation. One of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. It's the other Fey, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded Tuatha. A vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave all mortals. Are you playing a trick on me? I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Surely you've heard of Red the Dead Edward. They say he drinks the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. Or perhaps those are just rumors. You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, your life is in your hands. I'd never seen one of them until a day or so ago. It appears that a small group of warriors ventured inland to strike behind our lines. Believe the stories, friend. The Tuatha were mad. They have been touched by a dark magic. They are wholly corrupted and they are the enemy. I don't know if you noticed, but St. Odwig's mission closed its gate moments before that Fae's body turned up on the road. I don't like what that suggests. Not at all. The brothers of St. Odwig's are an odd sort, scurrying back and forth across the mission like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed doors. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. 
Hope you stay in town. Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. <laughs> you could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. <laughs> Oh, my God. 